Hi everyone, um, this is probably going to be posted on both my channels because uh, different people subscribe to different ones and they've both got something in that each might like so yeah. Um, this is a quick review on Japanese sweets called Haichus. Um, I know you guys have them in America um, but I've got the Japanese ones. Um, someone told me that the American ones taste different to the Japanese ones and the Japanese ones taste more natural. Um, I'm not at all sure how true that is but I went with the Japanese ones um, and also what I got in my Alice in Wonderland remint so um, if you're not interested in remint or Japanese sweets then maybe this video isn't for you but um, if you are carry on watching uh, this is the remint that I got it's um, an Alice in Wonderland one uh, you could get all the ones on the front the only one I didn't really want is the cookie which is um, the bottom one. I wasn't really keen on getting that. Um, just because it didn't really seem very cool. Um, <laughs> so, um, you get this little card, which comes with most remints. Um, and this is the one that I got. I got the Alice one. So I was really pleased with that because it's really cute. Has a mirror on the back. On the back. Um says Alice. It actually does look like a real cookie um, the way it's iced and stuff so I was really happy. Um, you always get remint candy as well as everyone knows. Um, if you haven't seen remint gum it's like that. And it actually is really well I really like it so um, so that was that. Um, this is these are the high chews. Um, so there's a strawberry as you can see I've eaten some of it and shared it with my mum. Um, <laughs> there you go. Um, so you've got grape and strawberry and apple. So they're the three um, flavours. My hair is annoying me today. They're the three flavours that I got. I think, no, they're not. You can get like, um, I've seen cola flavoured ones somewhere. Um, eBay, they're quite expensive. I looked on eBay, but I was like, oh, I'm not paying that. Um, a lot of shops in London sell them, like the Japanese stores in London sell them. Um, you can get them on Cyber Candy. That's a really good place. Um, but what I did is I just typed it in on Google. Um, I typed in high chew, Japanese high chews and then UK. And then I went on a shop on there and got them from. So, yeah. Um, if there's like a big commotion about... Um, these which are the great ones people seem to like these the best um this doesn't sound really weird when I went to America I got a um grape flavoured lip balm and like we don't in England we don't tend to have grape flavoured things um it's weird we we do but we don't um we tend to have like strawberry or apple that kind of stuff more um, so when I went out there and tasted that, I was like, grape? To me, like, it didn't really taste of a grape, like an actual grape. Like, so, it's hard to explain. Whereas now, when I smell the smell, because I've had the lip balm, I'm like, oh, it's grape. But it's like that smell that I'm referring to rather than an actual having a grape in my mouth, if that makes any sense at all. Um, so these do taste like that grape, the lip balm grape, um, which is like a flavour that they seem to use an awful lot. So um, it doesn't taste like an English grape, but it might taste like an American grape or a Japanese grape. Um, so um, they are really, they are nice. Um, they're more addicting than the other two. Because um, when I first tried them, I was like, do I like these? Do I not like these? I wasn't really too sure. Whereas the other two, I was like, oh yeah, these are really nice. Um, but they tend to leave a taste in your mouth for longer. So, there's kind of pros and cons, but they taste, to me, they taste more chemically um, than the others. They probably, they, I don't even know if they've got chemicals in them, you know what I mean, like artificial stuff, because I can't read Japanese, and it's all in Japanese on the back. But, um, they taste more artificial than the other two, to me. Um, but, these, the apple ones are more sour, but they're not too sour. Um, they taste quite, um like zesty and um, they do taste really really nice and the strawberry ones are probably my favourites um, 
they remind me a little bit of opal fruits or starbursts as they're called now um but they're less sticky because i'm always frightened that my fillings are going to come out because yeah i just don't like the thought of my fillings coming out so i don't tend to chew a lot of gum um so but i'd heard that these aren't so sticky and they're not they're weird they you know like chewing gum once it's been chewed for a while it's got that weird texture that it doesn't stick to your teeth these have that which is great and it's edible so you don't need to find somewhere to spit it out if you spit your gum out and don't swallow it so um they're really really good um you get a load a load in i think there's about 30 of them in a pack um i'll get a strawberry one out and show you what it actually looks like see so compared to the pack, they're actually, you get a lot of them in there, um, which is a bonus. Uh, they're not that expensive. Uh, if you buy them on eBay, they are. They're about £3 a pack, I think, on eBay. No, £7 a pack. They were, like, ridiculous. And that's what they look like inside with the flavour, slight pink inside. Um, when you first put it in your mouth it's kind of hard to chew but then after a while it gets easier it looks like gum I'm not going to show you it in my mouth but it does look like gum um, I like all of them equally to be honest um, although I do like the way that the grape leaves are tasting your mouth for ages which is always good um, they're addicting so, unless you want to be buying these for the rest of your life, um, don't buy them. Because uh, when I finish out, when I finish these, I'll probably buy more. Because they're really good to have in your handbag if you just want something to have for a bit. Um, I don't eat them a lot because sugar is crap for your teeth. Um, but they are good. And I share with my friends. I'm like, hey, do you want Japanese sweet? <laughs> so, um, yeah, they're really cool. Um, I just thought I'd share that with you. Um, I would tell you what's in them, but I'm not, like, 100% sure. Oh, here we are. I do have gelatine in, so for veggies. I hate eating gelatine. Um, like, I don't like it when it's in yoghurts and things like that. I think that's just weird. Um, they can do so much more things now that they don't really need gelatine. Like, why? Um, that's the only negative that I'd say with these, um... Is that they've got gelatine in them. Um, they have Mizume, which is a sweetener, sugar, vegetable oil, gelatine, concentrated apple juice, acid, flavorings, emulsifier, colorings. Um, but then the grape don't have a sticker on, which sucks because I really wanted to see like if there was um, real grape stuff in them or not because I'm not sure. Um, but this one, the yogurt, um, sorry, the um, strawberry bun, has got strawberry juice, concentrated yogurt, acid flavourings, and also fire colouring. So it's cool. Um, yeah, that's it. I'm coming up to ten minutes now, so sorry I've rambled on a little bit. Um, hope you're all well. Um, this look that I've got on at the moment is actually a makeup look that I've done. So that will be coming up soon. I'll see you guys later. Bye.